Hey you guys, and welcome back to Spacebound. In today's video, we'll be going over some of the most popular Fortnite streamers who actually killed off their own career. Let's take a look. Deller. Up first, you guys, we have Deller. Deller was a popular Fortnite streamer, most known for his raging reactions and keyboard smashing. While some think he's taking the game too seriously, and while that may be a part of it, it's pretty commonly believed that Deller is turning his personality up to 11 on purpose to be entertaining. After all, what's not to like about watching a dude repeatedly smash a keyboard against his own head? Well, if you work for Twitch, apparently everything about that is what's not to like, as this very act recently got him banned from Twitch. And while he's been taken off the platform before, this time Twitch has stated it'll be a permanent ban. Being sniping. Man. High Sky. Next we have High Sky. High Sky became very popular for being a skilled Fortnite player at such a young age, being only 13 and managing to get himself into the famous gaming group FaZe, making him the youngest ever member. As it turns out, High Sky was even younger than he led on, as he ended up being exposed and was outed for joining FaZe when he was only 11 years old instead of being 13. Because of Twitch's rules about age, when the news broke out, High Sky's Twitch account was immediately banned and he ended up losing a lot of his followers. I'm back. I'm not streaming on YouTube and uh, my Twitch account was suspended due to be me me being underage. And yes, I am 12. I only lied so that I can fulfill my dream of being like a streamer. It's been my dream for a long time and I worked for like for a year and a half for it. And I'm sorry that I lied, but yeah. I just wanted to Actually, like... Actually, you had... The, your brother, your older brother account. I mean, yeah, it was my older brother's account, and I just used Actually, it. Actually, and the, but all, all of you, you've been su uh, supervised <laughs> by by me, by your dad. Okay, and... well, it's okay. I'm sorry. I had to lie. I was too young, and it held me back, and I just couldn't wait two more years. You are my I'm genius. Sorry. You are young, and you are okay, genius. Mom. You are amazing. <laughs> Holy cow, I finally got it off my chest. Johnny TK. Next up, we have a player by the name of Johnny TK. While Johnny wasn't ever the biggest name in Fortnite, he was one of the most talented, making it all the way to Fortnite World Cup. As it turns out, however, Johnny cheated when playing in said event. Screenshots leaked of Johnny on an alternate Discord account talking to a Fortnite hacker who sells hacks to give players a competitive advantage. In the leaked photos, Johnny can be seen asking for the price, questioning how easily they'd be detectable. And even straight up tells the hacker if he's caught and exposed, it'll ruin his career. Well, since since the screenshots also came out of Johnny's PayPal transaction, which had both his name and the exact price that the hacker listed, it's pretty safe to say Johnny screwed himself on this one. This is where Johnny K found this guy at. This is the initial conversation. I don't want to go through it. You guys can pause it and take a look at it. Let's move on now to the next part, which is a screenshot showing that Johnny K did pay the guy who creates hacks the amount of money asked in the screenshots. And you can see here, I do have it a little bit blurred out, but Johnny Johnny K is in the email and I 100% can confirm I did go on my own PayPal account and I donated it to Johnny K's stream. That's right guys, if you go to his stream and you go down to the description, there's a donation button. I donated $3, then I copied the email that the guy got $60 sent to by this account on Discord and I matched them up. It was the same email. I clicked to view all of my transactions with that user and it showed the email for both of them. So this is 100% Johnny K based off this PayPal information. So he is logged into his official account and then he gets kicked out and banned right here for having the hacks open. And there it is guys, Johnny K trying to hack in the World Cup qualifiers. Pokimane. Despite still being relatively popular, Pokimane has amassed quite a bit of controversy during her days in the Twitch community. She's basically had multiple videos exposing her kind act as a facade and proving that she can be manipulative, hypocritical, and just phony in general. Brittany Venti ended up putting out an over 20 minute long video on all of her problems with Pokey and had a lot of people agreeing with her with multiple 
YouTube channels putting out similar hit pieces talking about how Pokey managed to turn an entire community against her. Whatever your opinions are on Pokimane, you can't deny that she's lost a lot of her popularity over the past year. Hey, how does it feel to know that I'm gonna take down your video? No! Does it hurt your feelings? No! The f you say to me, you little s <laughs> How are you? How are you not in f school? Wow, I'm so sorry that it takes you a lot of time to steal other people's content. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, no! And put it together. I'm no. so sorry that it takes you so much time to go to the top clips on Fortnite and then just right click and save all of them as, and then just like put them all into Premiere and then just like export it. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I'll be taking down some of your videos. I love it. Well, I'm so sorry that it takes you a lot of time to steal other people's content. I'm so sorry. Rai Ziff. And up next, you guys, we have a player by the name of Rai Ziff. Now, Ziff was a fairly popular Fortnite player who was also competing at a high level. Ziff participated in the Fortnite Duos World Cup, and not long after, a video came out basically exposing Ziff for cheating during the event. Right at the start of the game, after players had dropped down onto the map, Ziff was ambushed by another player, but quickly managed to get the kill. It was odd though, because the person who attacked him was only using his pickaxe, which you just don't ever see at a level like the Fortnite World Cup. As it turns out, the player Ziff killed at the beginning was actually in coerts with Ziff himself and was letting him get the kill for free. This wasn't even the first time either, as Ziff had been caught before doing the exact same thing, bringing in friends who let Ziff get free kills to boost up his record. How he was exposed for this and still able to compete in the World Cup, I honestly do not know but I do know that his career is all but done for after this one. These are all of his friends, all of his friends. Last game, they all have 30 points. Rise has 53. Rise lands on the pump. He saw he went on the pump, so Bad and Wuji, his friend, saw him go on the pump, still decides to go to the place. He just, what is, why is he mining? Like, this is a high sky saying as well. Why is he just mining this instead of going for the gun or something else? Just grabs the ammo, pickaxe the chest. That's a free point for Rise, right? One of his friends, who are also giving him another point, is Guesty. Guesty comes down. He knows that Rise has a gun. He knows that Rise killed someone. He can see that he's fighting right now. There's no available gun for him. He lets him die. He sits next to it. Just sits next to it. Gets this. Does not pick up any of the mess, which is High Sky is saying. He's purposely missing. This is just clear obvious. This is a pro player, by the way. Crouches next to the thing. Just, just crouches next to it. Opens it. Still crouched. Fucking misses every single goddamn shot on him. You can see that he's purposely hitting the, the brick. Not building at all. There's tons of mats in this inventory. Let's rise kill him. Myth. Up next, you guys, we have Myth. Now, Myth was probably the second biggest name in all of Fortnite for a while. And this was pretty much the moment that all came crashing down. During a tournament in Las Vegas, Myth was playing and got himself in a fight up in the sky. Myth became famous for probably being the most skilled builder in Fortnite, so it could have been a safe bet that he'd be winning this fight. What no one could have really predicted though was Myth completely choking and falling off the edge right over a cliff to his death. While Myth kind of laughed it off after the fact, he sort of became a joke in the community for a while and it seriously devalued his name, with his stats consistently going downward ever since this incident. So I was gonna just play the early ground early, I got the, the early game, the early, I was gonna play the high ground early and then, but yeah, so and then, so then I got the position. I got the position that I wanted it, like I wanted, I wasn't contested, and then uh, as the circle kind of shifted away from the hill, I decided to, uh, we had to, there was a player playing underneath me, so we got into a little skirmish, and then off the side of the hill, I like encountered one of the rarest bugs in the game, which is like when you make an edit or like build something, it'll just fling you off. <laughs> And so that happened and it was really unfortunate. K and Jarvis. Next up we have FaZe members and brothers K and Jarvis. And while they might not have fully killed their careers, it's pretty easy to see the impact this scenario really truly had. Basically, whoever was editing videos for these guys massively screwed up and exposed their video 
shows is fake. Kay was behind the camera at the time and could clearly be seen directing his brother on what to say as if he was reading off a script. And for some reason, this little slip up clip made it on to the finished video somehow and ended up being posted. Ever since then, both Kay and Jarvis have been continuously getting less and less views and subscribers with their joint channel now only pulling in one third of the number of subs that it did in the summertime. It's safe. It's, it's safe. It's safe. We've, we've got it safe. And I'll just be like, bro, am I going to have to put it back or can you? Yeah. Bro, am I going to have to move everything back? Like no, man. No, Charlotte's here now. We've got Charlotte to help with the rest of the video. Oh, so what? she can move it back. Tifu. And finally, you guys, we have Tifu, who might not have actually really killed his career, but he definitely left himself vulnerable to it happening. In May, Tifu dropped a video explaining how terrible his contract with FaZe is and how he's basically locked in there for three years and that FaZe can pretty much take control of his channel at any time and name it any time. Tifu made the video in an effort to get himself out of the contract as well as try to warn any other potential people trying to sign with FaZe about how dangerous many of the esport contracts out there really are. Tifu put himself out there and risk a lot in doing so. FaZe could have seen this video and essentially ended his career there, and while he's definitely lost a lot of popularity he once had, Tifu is by far doing great and best out of everyone on this list, still pulling in millions upon millions of views every month. What is in this contract is so bizarre. It's so f This contract basically allows FaZe at any point in three years to just take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it and what i'm trying to do here is just serve justice to the esports community the esports industry these kids are getting ripped off they're getting taken advantage of i can't disclose what is within this contract show the contract phase release the contract everybody hashtag release the contract release it please and with that being said, that concludes Fortnite streamers who killed their careers. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what your favorite part was, and also make sure you subscribe with notifications on to never miss similar content in the future. And besides that, hopefully all of you have wonderful days, and I'll catch you on the next one.